late breaking. This is WDSU News at 6. Right now at 6, Mayor LaToya Cantrell will not be taking her third trip overseas in five weeks as planned. And all of this comes after WDSU pressured the mayor for answers on her travel expenses and pressure from the public. And mayor Cantrell was set to go to Singapore uh, weeks after drawing backlash on her use of time and the city's money. That's right. WDSU's investigative reporter Cassie Sherm has been following this story from the beginning. Cassie, we obtained documents from her travels. What do we know so far? Well, guys, after a records request, we now know that Mayor Latoria Control spent $10,000 flying to and from Switzerland, but that's just a small picture of what the actual trip cost, and it cost taxpayers. Now, we're still waiting to hear more on the France trip and anticipating the one to Singapore. But in this interview with our partner radio station, WBOK, Mayor Control says she will no longer be leaving today for her trip to Singapore to attend the World City Summit. But I am. Not in, not in um, Singapore, right? Because I'm here tending to the, the men police. and women of the police department. Yep. Mayor Latoya Control was the only mayor in the U.S. invited to the World City Summit in Singapore. I was going because the city of New Orleans is on the front lines of climate change. We're looked upon for innovation because we're doing the work in our city, and I'm asked by world leaders to be present. But because of wanting to ensure that our police officers are loved and respected and hear directly from me, I felt that it was best that I'm boots on the ground for this. This comes after WDSU investigates looks into the mayor's trips to Switzerland and France on the taxpayer's dime. It spurred a lot of controversy when the Singapore trip was announced at a Gordon Plaza committee meeting this week. Just how much the mayor has spent this year on trips is still unknown. From the public record request documents so far, we know that the mayor's flight to and from Switzerland for a sister city trip was nearly $10,000 alone. We don't have a price tag for the social media manager, director of international relations, and executive protection she brought along. Also, Contrell booked her flight only a week before she left. Why was the trip booked so late? Um, don't know that either. On Thursday, we went to the mayor's office for a photo op press event of her signing the facial recognition ordinance for NOPD to ask her some more questions about her travels, but reporters were not allowed inside. But this is a photo op only. Can she come out after the fact, though? I said no so further comments. I have a quick question, maybe. When photographers tried asking a question inside, the mics were swiftly picked up. It doesn't matter where the mayor is. Gregory Joseph with the mayor's communication team was able to answer some of our questions regarding how the mayor can lead the city out of the country. Whether she's here or whether she's on an international trip bringing the culture of the city and all the genius that we have to other parts of the world, we're always focused on doing the job of the mayor of the city of New Orleans. But we have more questions about the cost of her trip to France and the total expenses overall this year. And we hear there could be other sister city trips on the horizon, too. Is the mayor going to a sister city trip in Africa? Um, I don't know any knowledge of a sister city trip in Africa. The previous trips to France and Switzerland were to renew the sister city contracts and spread the city's culture. But some have said this isn't the right time. Just last week, I asked the mayor, why now? There's been a lot of complaints and criticism for, you know, is now the right time to leave the country when there's so much going on in the city? What would you say to that? That um, there's always uh, the right time to conduct the city's business and especially uh, expand uh, our cultural footprint that drives the local economy just the community members who are concerned about the cost. City Council President Helena Moreno and Vice President J.P. Morrell filed legislation capping non-essential travel expenses for city elected officials at $1,000 per trip. And Cassie, there are rules in place already for city leaders for, the, for their travels? That's right. So the City of New Orleans Chief Administrative Office sent out this policy here on July 1st. It says an employee is required to purchase the lowest airfare available. And if employee does fly anything other than coach, which the mayor flew business going to and from Switzerland, that person must pay the difference in